Movement speed is probably the most underrated stat in Bleach Brave Souls. In today's video, I'll be explaining how to min-max your movement speed for the fastest clear times possible, while also playing on auto. Once you get this build for yourself, you can farm any point event efficiently, yielding tons of free tickets and resources. Give me a quick like, and let's get started. I believe Oetsu is the best character for this build. Some of his standout skills are 80% Bruiser, 50% Berserker, 12% Damage Reduction, Paralysis and Weakened Resistance, Flurry, Poise, and Guard Break. Now those are just the skills Oetsu comes with. At level 20 link slots, you can give him two additional skills. For these, choose hit hidden enemies and stamina recovery. Now the magic begins here with the accessories. Equip a wetsu with double movement speed sticks and the thousand year blood war card. For the substats, reroll for 30% attack. The character links I go for are strong attack damage and normal attack damage. Currently, there are only two technique characters in the game with this combo, Senbon Zakura and Ruruka. For the third spot, go with Senkaimon Zangetsu, which he has normal attack and damage reduction. That is all for building a Wetsu, but there is one final piece that is crucial for this build. Safui Gin. Toss him in the team and he will give a Wetsu an additional 30% movement speed. This build totals up to 115% extra movement speed, which is currently the fastest in the game. I will now showcase this build in a couple of quests, but stick around to the end for some extra tips to make Oetso even stronger.
My build is far from perfect, but this is what I would do to get more power out of my Owetsu. First, I would aim for 5 out of 5 Transcendence, giving Owetsu extra stats all across the board. Next, I would also transcend the Link Slot characters, so the inherited stats would be much more. And finally, I would get the Link Slot characters to level 20 Link Slots, so I can give them attack and SP as their bonus abilities. If you have any questions or recommendations, let me know in the comments below.